Hello everyone, Pesky Girl here. We're back with the clinical case series. This is the case number two. Eva found distress and crying. Eva is a one-year-old baby. She lives with her parent. She has no past medical history. Her mom, Jane, found her today while she was crying in distress outside of the grass. She noticed that her crying sounded hoarse, so she rushed her to the clinic. What's the appropriate approach in this case? This is a possible emergency case. So you start your approach with doctors ABCD, take you out to the treatment room and try and take a short history while you assess Eva at the same time. Doctors ABCD stand for D for danger, R is for checking if the child is responsive or not, S is for sending for help. In this case, that would be your supervisor and a practice nurse and possibly um, an ambulance. A is for every patency. So in this case, the hoarseness will show that it's at least a partial a block. B is for breathing. And if there's any problem at this point, you will start giving oxygen and C is for circulation. Eva was just under the tree when she suddenly started crying. She has been healthy so far with no recent illness. She has not picked anything and put it in the mouth. Uh, when you examine Eva, you find a widespread wheeze and a soft street door. Her voice is hoarse. Her lips seem to be mildly swallowing and become pale when her mother tries to sit him up. And you also find a tender red swollen area in the right foot. So up to now, the most possible diagnosis is uh, anaphylaxis due to a possible bee or a wasp sting. Eva should be positioned flat to prevent hypotension. Oxygen should be administered. The most important step in the treatment of anaphylaxis is adrenaline. It should be administered intramuscularly and the dose is 0.01 mg per kg. We should use the diluted form and in order to make it, we need 9 cc of normal saline plus 1 cc of 1 in 1000 solution of adrenaline. That will give us 1 in 10,000 solution of adrenaline. So if EVA is 10 kilogram, we need 1 milliliter of the solution. It should be administered with a 25 gauge needle to make sure that it's getting to the muscle because the um, subcutaneous tissue absorption is not reliable. At the same time, we should uh, check, uh, get an IV excess and start uh, normal selling with dose of 20 cc per kg. Uh, we should make sure that we call the ambulance and refer Eva to the hospital, even if she responds to the treatment. Now, while we're waiting for the um, for the ambulance to get there, if we uh, do not see a um, appropriate response, we can um, repeat the dose of adrenaline every five minutes. And even if this is not that does not provide the response that we are hoping for, we can have the nebulizer with 2.5 milligram of adrenaline. And even if the visas is widespread, we can add salbutamol nebulizer to the adrenaline. 